fellow cultists, welcome to Nightmare of Decay. This is pretty much a retro survival horror FPS game that pretty much reminds me of Resident Evil 2, or Resident Evil 1 actually. You're gonna find out once we get into this. It's only two hours long, but given my skill, it is probably gonna be much longer than that. But let's not waste any time. Normal or hard, those are the only ones. There's probably a third one after you beat the game once, but I am casual, so let us go to normal. Spooky. Oh. Ma is the is ma the is ma. Ma it 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 ma it it is it it is. No, that's not uh, that's not the way that he's talking. He's saying. 23-year-old Judith Gasgo uh, was reported missing yesterday evening. She is described as Caucasian, 5 feet 7 inches tall with a slim... <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna talk like that all day. She was last seen entering her apartment after being escorted home by friends following a late night out clubbing. Well, there's a problem there. You shouldn't trust strange men. Or in this case, in her case, uh, you're not supposed to trust strangers at all after a night of clubbing. Police searched her apartment and interviewed neighbors, but have been unable to find any clues leading to her current whereabouts. Close friends and relatives say that Glasgow, uh, Glaslow has been complaining about frequent nightmares and hallucinations in uh, the days before she went missing. Oh, that could be, uh, that could be a plot element in this game. It is unknown if these had anything to do with her disappearance. Glaslo is, is, is the is. latest in an alarming number of recent disappearances that have local residents spooked. Authorities say there have been over 10 missing people reported in just the past week. In the past week alone, that's not good. Police have been unable to find any new leads in their investigation of the disappearances and implore anyone with information to call the missing persons investigation unit at the news is boring let's move on you turn off the TV you've been having terrible nightmares recently and watching the news about these disappearances is just gonna make them worse oh I'm the next victim it's getting late and you're feeling pretty tired. You should eat dinner and take a shower before going to bed. You're pretty sure that there was a leftover slice of pizza in the fridge. Oh, I can already tell that this is retro already. See if you can... Ah, there's my pizza. Awesome! When the mood eats the spy, like a big pizza pie. It's amore. Oh, yeah. There we go. You don't cook pizza for 4 minutes and 20 seconds. Right. Give me that. I'm Donatello! All right, shower time. You know, it's almost the end of November, and maybe I can, uh... No, we're not gonna do that. This is not that type of game. All clean, it's time to go to bed. What? How did the TV turn on by itself? I should turn it off. As soon as you turn off the TV, you suddenly notice in the reflection of the TV a, s a screen. Yeah, well, there's something breathing behind me. Yes, I already played this part because I wanted to test it. You turn around and see a large man staring at you with a crazed smile on his face. His hoarse breathing echoes throughout the room. And, uh, that better not be Glaslo. The man is holding the decapitated head of a woman. Thoughts of the recent disappearances come to mind, and a cold chill runs down your spine. 
In the next moment, the man fades away just as suddenly as he appeared. You must be more tired than you thought if you were starting to hallucinate and maybe eating that pizza before going to bed was not the best ideas. Yeah, that pizza was probably, ooh, a few weeks old. A good night's sleep should help to refresh your mind. You hope that you don't have another nightmare tonight. Open the door. Oh. I'm too tired to play games right now. Don't have time to be playing with myself. And this is how you're going to save. There are no auto saves. And the auto saves only work after you play this game once. So we have to rely on this notepad. <sighs> time to go to bed. <sighs> Welcome to Nightmare of Decay. And I'm in a coffin. Get me out of here! Get me out of here! I'm not dead! I'm not dead! <laughs> That's right, be like Uma Thurman in Kill Bill. At least you don't have to dig through the dirt. M to view the map. Ah! Somebody's constipated. Okay. There's the map. At least we don't have to look for maps. So, remember that. I can run. Kitty! You see a cat sitting on the railing at the top of the stairs. It stares at you with unnaturally intelligent eyes. A talking cat? Yeah, I never saw that movie, but it's not good. Hello, stranger. The cat greets you, and strangely enough, you can understand what it's saying. <coughs> Looks like the nightmare has claimed yet another victim. Maybe uh, many have been brought here against their will, only to be met with a terrible fate in one way or another. No one has ever managed to escape alive. You met with a terrible fate, haven't you? The cat pauses to look you up and down, almost as if to appraise you for your worth. It seems unimpressed. I wonder how long you'll be able to survive for. Not long, if I had to make a guess. It'll be fun to see how you meet your end in this horrible place. Maybe one of the monsters will get you. Or maybe you'll go insane and end yourself. Well, I need to get going. Good luck, stranger. Try not to die too fast. Thanks for the confidence. Really appreciate it. Oh, somebody's been here first. Just equip that. Okay. I could hear something. Sounds like somebody's having a meal. Hey, Bo. Hello. Can I join you? No, I guess not. But yeah, this scene right here reminds me so much of Resident Evil 1. Say. Now, I don't know if this guy is going to get back up. Yes, I'm pretty much like Sekai from school days, trying to stab Makoto uh, many times. You're so cruel, the only thing you thought of was Katsura-san! Okay. Got the manor key. The door is stuck and won't budge. Yeah, this gun, the, this it appears to be... 
This gun right here, it appears to be a weapon. It is really powerful, especially against living things. Open the door. Now it definitely reminds me of Resident Evil 1. Or 0, depending on what system you had at the time. Ah, uh, ammo, health. Now some of these paintings are real. Like this one right here. If I remember, this picture is either Uranus or Saturn eating his son. Oh, I could open this door. There's dogs out there. I don't think I want to fight them just yet. At least, not until I get some ammunition. Lock from the other side. Yeah, I can sprint, but not very fast. Maybe there's something in this... Yes, there is. In here? No, and I'm just making a mess. The lord of the house is not going to be happy. Uh-oh. There are a number of coins shaped in the indents above the fireplace. An old farmer, tired from a day of hard labor, falls asleep under the shade of a tree while his loyal dog watches over him. Yeah, I, the three coins. I bet this is the tree, the man, and the dog. Okay. So we need to find three coins, wherever the hell that might be. Oh, and here's something else. Acid recipe? Access to some areas of the manor has been obstructed by a strange, fleshy growth. Lord William has tasked me with finding a solution to this issue. I've discovered that a mixture containing equal amounts of lanolime, odazon, and aquaverum can be used to create a corrosive acid that can dissolve the fleshy growth and regain access to previously obstructed areas. Great, we now are on... We have two quests now. The coins and the... Yeah, I bet I want to take that with me. Uh-oh. Those people want in. They probably want all this. Can't we cook this? I would like to cook it. What? It's the door to the pantry. The faint stench of rotten meat is coming from behind it. You try to open the door, but it won't budge. After a moment, a rough voice suddenly calls out to you from the other side. <laughs> <laughs> is there somebody there? Please, I need help. <laughs> I accidentally locked myself in here, and I can't get back out. <laughs> While I've been stuck in here, my precious collection has been rotting away. I must escape so that I can add fresh toys to it. <laughs> Please, we can help each other. You wish to get in, and I wish to get out. <laughs> the key to the door should be somewhere in the manor. It's a large blue key with the word pantry carved into it. Please hurry. I do not wish to spend another moment stuck in here. My collection is rotting away. I bet the collection is you. Oh, shit! Time to go! Oh, crap. Good thing that I can get my pistol out. Ooh, headshot. These 
things do not go down easy. I don't want to use my pistol all that much, except for emergencies. You're suffering com from constipation too? I can help with that. Get out! Ouch! Get back! Get back! These things do not die easily. I'm okay. I don't need to use a health drink or anything like that, but there's still monsters in the area. That uh, bar at the bottom, you see right at the bottom, at the bottom right there, that pretty much tells me that there's still monsters around. Ah, there's a health drink, so... And... Pistol ammo. I think I would be... I think I would have a better time in that pantry area to, um... Well, if I had a machine gun or a shotgun... Okay, we've already been here, so... Oh, uh, let's see if there's any. I always I was able to open that drawer. Let's see if there, uh, I see if I can open the drawers here. No, I cannot. They have it good and tight. And now I'm exhausted, so I can't run. Uh, I can't run. Or I can't even walk. Ah, there they are now. See, I think I can, without using that much ammunition. Here he comes. Come here. You people, you zombies are nothing but a big headache. And I got a pistol full of aspirin here. Mm, that does give me... That does give me a bit of an idea. Four shots in the head and then switch over to the knife. Now I can switch over to the knife, let's see. Get off! Yeah, I'm now I'm in the danger zone. I am in the danger zone right now. And just to prove it to you, there is the health bar right there. I am not doing that good. If you haven't noticed by now, I'm not good at horror games. It's not because of the scares or spooks. It's because of the difficulty. There we go. It's not much. And there's no more monsters. Can we open this door? Pistol ammo. Another save point. I'm surprised there's no music for the save point in in Resident Evil they do. Unsolved environment puzzles can be reset by the exiting and re-entering an area. It's an old grandfather clock. There is a keyhole that can be used to unlock the face covering. Let's open this door. Shape of a club has been carved onto the lock. Yeah, that definitely spells 
That definitely spells, uh, Resident Evil 2. Lock from the other side. This one's not locked. And this has some unfriendly faces. And it woke everybody up! Oh, this one's unlocked. Well, this just takes me right back to the beginning. Let's see, can we open this door? Yes, we can. Nobody's in here. Tear stained, tear stained note. Imagine you're tear stained. William has been acting strangely ever since we moved into this manor. He has been spending all his time in the basement, doing God knows what. I tried asking him about it, but he became angry and confrontational. I feel, I fear we may be drifting apart. I hate this place. We never should have come here. People would probably be better living somewhere else. Ammunition, because God knows I'm going to need it. Hey. Locked. The lock is simple. I could probably unlock it with a lock pick, but I don't have a lock pick. Oh, this looks fun. That must be, uh, that must be the lock pick right there. Got a pellet gun. Not an effective weapon, but... Let's see, try to get as high a score as possible within the allotted time. Score points by hitting red targets. Time can be extended by hitting the blue targets. Prizes are unlocked for reaching various score amounts. Okay. Come on. Come on! I need 150 points in order to get whatever's in there, which is probably a lockpick. But I got pistol ammo and shotgun ammo. I'll probably come back to this and do this on my own time. Let's 
But at least with that, we got ourselves some better ammo, so I won't feel pretty bad about... So, headshots are important. Shape of a spade. Now we're back into this Never Never Land. I think I can go face those dogs now without that much trouble. Reload just in case. Because God knows this is probably not going to go well. Uh oh, here they come. Well, I hate to do that to dogs, but they have evil eyes, so they're they're not cute and cuddly, and they'll probably bite your hand if you try to pet them. Wish I could search the body, but I can't. Ah. That'll help. Let's see if we can open this. Locked. I need to find the key to unlock this door. I need a key. Hey. What have we here? More health. And more shotgun ammo, but still no shotgun. This frustrates me. I'm gonna need that shotgun in order to, um, get past most of those creeps. And with that, I'm probably gonna have to use my weapon strategically. I can't use that door. I need to go in here. Actually, I... Actually, I need to save. Really wish there was, like, a quick save option. Then I wouldn't have to go back and forth. Well, I'm gonna have to face those monsters. That's one. That's two. I'm gonna run out of ammo at this point. Ah, headshot. Down. I can still hear it gushing blood. Now I don't have a lot of ammunition, that's not good. Well, now I got that. What's this? Coin the tree! Shotgun. Just the ammunition, but still no... But still no gun. Wish I could check under these beds for items, but I guess not. I guess... We need to... I'm surprised that the exhausted uh, the exhaustion meter only works when there's mo uh, monsters in the area. Oh, hello. Did 
Time to get the knife out. Now I have to use a health drink. What I want is a first aid kit. Seems to be just monsters and dogs. I don't like the sound of that. Because if I grab anything in there, it is probably going to... They're probably going to break the window. What's this? Other than more supplies. Present the king with his golden crown and defeat his loyal guards to open the way forward. Oh, there's so many tasks to do in this. And you have to go to point A, point B, one, two, uh-oh. That is not the right way I want to go. There we go. The state point is not that far away. First things first, let's save and then put the coin in its spot. I bet a lot of people are probably saying right now, no, the shotgun is going to be... Okay. The shotgun is like in this room or something like that. The item can't be used this way? There we go. Now I got to find the other two. Oh, didn't see that there. Bakers need to be full. I need to get, uh... Shit. Yeah, I am not... Uh, I need... I, I demand a shotgun! Because that seems to be the only weapon that I could use against a mob. No. I am not going to be... I'm not going to be turned into fried chicken. I better arm myself. What's this baster do? Oh, that's a candle. I thought that... Oh, no, that's... No, oh, that is a candle. There's the shotgun now. Yeah, I have a feeling once I take it, I am going to be ambushed. Yep. Here they come. Yeah. Ooh. 
One shot to the head and they go down. Definitely gotta conserve ammo on that one. Wait, I've been here already. At least now I can face those. I can face those other guys in the pantry. All right. Have a taste of my. Yeah, reload before going into the fray. That should be enough for all of you. Get close. Boom! Boom! Uh-oh. He didn't go down all, uh, right away. That one did. You're next. Gordon Ramsay does not like your cooking. I can hear one. Come here. Reload, and I'm gonna switch to the uh, pistol. Because I dispatched most of them so I can use the pistol uh, more. You don't go to- That's my phone. Sorry about that, I'll probably mute that out. What's this? Got bloody sack. What is in that sack? Can we open that? No, we can't. At least... Well, now... Oh. What have we here? Dumb waiter memo. Let's see what it says. The damn dumb waiter is broken again. I was sending up the pantry key to the second floor, and the platform got stuck in the shaft on the way up. Now no one can get into the pantry until the stupid lift is fixed. Lord William is going to be furious. Maybe dropping something heavy into the shaft for, uh, from the second floor will be enough to dislodge it. And that would be the bloody sack. But now we need to get up to the second floor. Wherever that might be. The second floor is probably that way. But now I need to find a save point. Pretty much if it's at the 45 minute mark, I would need to find a close enough save point. And it's not that time, but I'm just, uh, I just want to be cautious. Is it through here? No, but it's nearby. Now, the second floor is up there, I think. Let's see. Ah, there it is. The platform is stuck in the shaft. Maybe I can throw something heavy down there to dislodge it. And I know just what to use. This bloody sack. Sweet. Oh yeah, there's a save room. Right here, I think. 
no. I thought uh, I thought there was. I thought there was a save room somewhere right in this area. Lock from the other side. What's this? Hello? <coughs> that damn cat. Hello? <coughs> Thanks for freeing me. That washing machine. Uh, who knows how long I've been uh, how long I would have been stuck in there if you hadn't come along I saw something shiny in the machine and went back to uh, get it but the lid closed on me and I couldn't get back out I managed to get the shiny thing that was inside since you saved me I'll give it to you here take it maybe you can find a use for it coin and now we got company that's one! Uh-oh. Oh, shit! I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Well, we're off to a good start. I should have saved. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let me check how much I lost. I still have the bloody sack, so I have to go to the dumb waiter in order to put it down. But that's going to have to wait until the next episode because we're already at the 45 minute mark and I'm already at the nearest save point. That uh, shooting pellet game, I will probably do that on my own time. I know where it is, so I will probably uh, try to get to 150 points that way. And I will tell you what I, uh, I will tell you if I, what I won, if that really is a lockpick because that lockpick is probably going to come in handy uh, for throughout the rest of the game. So until then, thank you for watching. If you want to stay up to date, follow me on Twitter. If you want to see more of what I got, sub and ring. You can send me a tip through Subscribe Star or Tip Top Jar. See you on the far side, and as always, anime forever. Bye-bye!